Welcome back to Fast Fast, where we're making way for women on the leadership path. And today we'll be talking about involvement in politics and uh, what that means to you. Of course, we have a, a great panel of guests who are helping us break that down. Well, I mean, it has been said and said again that, of course, if you're going to be a female leader, you're going to require a whole deal of confidence to go with that. Now, one woman who knows about the value of confidence in leadership, especially in a male-dominated environment, which is technology, uh, is tech entrepreneur Evelyn Namara. We put her in our hot seat. My name is Evelyn Namara, and I'm a confident leader. Confidence is a combination of two things, preparation and self-awareness as well as your personal abilities. Confidence is a very good characteristic of good leadership, especially in terms of inspiring other people that you're working with, because they need to have someone they can look up to. You're inspiring values that they do not know they actually have. So when they see someone going before them and absolutely doing it, then they become confident in their own skin. I'm a technologist and I did computer science and I learned very early in my career that being confident was going to be key to my success. We meet a lot of people in, in, in this industry and you're faced with a lot of stereotypes wherever you go to do your work and it takes you standing up for yourself and knowing that you're prepared for whatever it is and showing that you can actually do the job. Uh, first of all is people not believing in you, especially in a male-dominated field. So early on I faced a lot of stereotypes as a young techie, you know, you're just upcoming, excited about the industry. And then we had this, you know, very conservative system administrator men who would look at me and say, we don't think you can actually do the work that you're supposed to do. The greatest compliment I've received as a leader is being called a fearless influencer of society. We need to step up. The world needs more of us right now. We are in a world where female leaders are being so inspirational, the ones that are on top, and we need more uprising leaders to fill that gap. I equate Fast Fast to creating opportunities for women. You know, if you're already up and you have the opportunity to be somewhere, it's good to make way for other women to rise up and be the very best they can. Evelyn Namara, man, make some noise for her. We need to find out from you. What do you think of what she submitted? Is confidence important? Do you agree with what she was saying? I agree, 101%. Personally, I think uh, way back when I was very young, I think I was having issues of self-esteem. Until after my primary, I realized there's a lot in me that I can actually share out with people. And of course, that had to be out uh, by com being confident. So from that day up to now, there's no way I go without splashing my confidence and I do what I have to do. Mm. And I mean, with the compliments that she's been uh, t saying, uh, how she's been complimented is the same way. I've also, on the long run, I've got my name, Unstoppable. So you can never stop me. Why? Because of the confidence. You cannot tell me, this is what I want, and then you say, but you can't get it. Now I'll show you that I can get it before you blink your eye. Okay. Mm. And unfortunately, I mean, yeah? I think, like she said, it's very important for anyone. You cannot be confident if you're not prepared. You have to prepare yourself. So in that sense, for us women, we have to go out there and read. Read and be on part, like you must have the knowledge for you to engage. Mm. Mm. Otherwise, you'll be kicked out of discussions. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> we have to wrap this up really quickly. I'm just going to go down uh, the chain and just ask one final question and give me your submissions really quickly, is why should women vote? Why should women get involved? Why should, uh, you know, they upstanding women of society that that the ones who have made it all the way up there they have gone to school they have you know held things on boards why should they propel themselves into political office why is that the direction that we should go especially with you know 2021 coming up and Kalupo thinking about whether or not they should run well, i think everything that the economics that everything that we do revolves around the politics and the leaders that we have so i think it is very important for 
every woman and every person to participate in electing whoever is going to take up the position so that they are able to deliver on the on the social amenities and the health the education services that we need mm. yeah and we have to get the confidence from our fellow women we have already seen at least worldwide statistics it has it really uh, worldwide women have been seen to be better leaders and we all agree mm. so i mean we should have the confidence if my fellow other woman has done it i think let me put there my feet also and see what i can bring on board mm. and we're of course realizing also that uh, for things to get better i don't need to keep on crying but let me go there and also try and do what is not being done well yeah. Uh, sometimes we think that what we do stops with us, but I like to think it's a chain of uh, uh, so many reactions to come. And uh, this is something that affects the people that we live with. It does not just affect us. So if you want to save your community, save your children, do something that, you're going to, that is going to be um, reaped or that is going, the results are going to be in the future, do it now while you still can. You know, women are mothers. They nurture. So you don't want to nurture something that you never see up. So I would like to encourage women to come out there. You, if you've given, you've given birth, you've nurtured, continue and take part in deciding how that will be. But by stepping back is that you throw out things to the world and never see how they will be nurtured. Mm. So by our nature of nurturing, by our nature of grooming, as mothers, as women, you should take the step further and be part of that that makes the decisions that will make ensure that what we've nurtured comes out strongly. And finally, like Evelyn said, it's a very ripe time for women to come up. We are in a time when everybody is speaking about gender, is speaking about women participating. So this is the right season for every young girl, every young woman to be the prefect of their school, to be the, I don't know, anything that you can be, guild presidents, Everybody is looking for women that can come out there and strongly show their contribution. So I want to call out the young girls, the women out there that, you know, we have it in us. So let's work and, and get to the top. Well, we've come to the end of this episode of Fasi Fasi, but before we go, here is a quick wrap up. It appears we're at the end of today's episode of Fast Fast. Thank you so much for joining us at home and to our guests for coming and deliberating so well. Also, we'll be back to do this again next time right here as we continue to make way for women on the path to leadership. And make, make some, some noise. noise.